relentlessly seeking love may hinder genuine happiness. Society often portrays love as the ultimate goal, a remedy for all troubles. Stoicism, a philosophy from the third century before Christ, suggests wisdom as the highest good and advises managing emotions, including love. In today's video, we explore seven reasons why chasing love may not lead to fulfillment. Join me to understand how Stoic philosophies discourage the pursuit of love. Principle number one, self-awareness is the key to genuine actions and relationships. Let's gather for the ultimate reason. This is the key to unlock the door to true love connections. Epictetus stated, tell yourself what you want to be, then act your part accordingly. This statement offers a deep insight into human potential and the significance of self-awareness. When we acknowledge our own objectives and values, we become willing to behave in line with them. This not only helps us steer our lives in a positive and upright direction, but also acts as a magnet for those who share similar values. In romantic relationships, self-awareness is a vital factor in drawing others closer and forming a sincere connection. When you have a clear understanding of yourself and your life goals, you exude confidence and straightforwardness in your interactions with others. This attracts individuals with comparable values and goals, fostering a more robust and meaningful relationship. By immersing ourselves in observing our minds, emotions and motivations, we uncover valuable self-awareness. This isn't just a meticulous task, but also a worthwhile journey of the soul. Better self-understanding equips us not only to engage in meaningful and purposeful behaviors, but also to handle challenges and difficulties in life with patience and wisdom. This awareness isn't just a tool for self-control, it opens the door to a world of enriching relationships. Understanding our minds makes us more empathetic and compassionate towards others. We know how to genuinely listen and interact with them, laying the groundwork for a sturdy and trustworthy relationship. If you are seeking a genuine love connection, take the time to grasp your personal values and goals before entering into meetings or dates. With this understanding, you'll encounter like-minded individuals and establish an authentic relationship based on mutual understanding and respect. This key not only opens the door to a life that we genuinely cherish and enjoy, but also marks the start of a significant journey of personal development and progress. It not only aids in self-improvement, but also propels us forward, exploring new possibilities and creating a happy and worthwhile future. So, unlock the door to self-awareness and you'll discover a beautiful and promising world waiting for you. Therefore, let's explore ourselves together, define our goals and values, and act accordingly. In this way, we not only create a meaningful life for ourselves, but also open the door to true love connections, where self-awareness becomes the precious key. Principle number two, emphasizing self-approval for inner calm. Let's explore the teachings of Epicurus, an esteemed philosopher from the past, who once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. These words highlight the importance of directing our minds towards how we handle events, rather than fixating too much on external circumstances beyond our control. Often, our thoughts and actions in the pursuit of love and approval from the outside world lead us away from inner peace. This results in constant comparisons with others, urging us to chase unattainable standards, causing anxiety and a sense of imperfection. In today's world filled with pressure from social media, entertainment and societal expectations, we learn from a young age that the notions of beauty, success and popularity are closely linked to our personal worth. To be loved and accepted, we are conditioned to conform to specific standards of appearance, behavior, and societal rules. 
These messages make us believe that to lead a happy life, we must define success as society dictates, going to great lengths to meet these expectations. Society's expectations create pressure to succeed and gain external approval. However, Stoic philosophy highlights a more crucial aspect of life, self-acceptance. Stoicism teaches us that for genuine peace of mind and true happiness, we must start from within. Self-acceptance doesn't mean being perfect or immune to improvement. It's about embracing all aspects of oneself, including virtues and flaws. Loving yourself for who you are is key. If constant comparisons on social media make you feel inadequate, shift your focus to self-acceptance. Change your perspective to focus on yourself and you'll find joy in the present moment, living in harmony with yourself. Confidence grows and every aspect of your life positively transforms. Instead of continually comparing and pursuing more, embracing self-acceptance allows us to find richness in what we already possess. This practice helps us break free from the pressure of external approval, leading to peace and happiness by staying true to ourselves. That's why Stoic philosophy urges us to prioritize self-acceptance above all else. Principle number three, being present is the gateway to discovering genuine love. In contemplating the present moment as the key to finding true love, the renowned Stoic philosopher Epicurus advised, don't seek for everything to happen as you wish it would, but rather wish that everything happens as it actually will. Then your life will flow well. While love is crucial in life, Stoic philosophy doesn't see it as a cure-all for problems or contradictions. Instead, it acknowledges that life can be challenging. Sustainable happiness comes from self-control and accepting the natural course of life. In Stoic philosophy, genuine love is understood as appreciation for all existence, self-love, and the capacity to love others deeply and unconditionally. To find true love, one must express this love, not just in relationships, but also in daily life and decision-making. Practicing living in the present is like returning to the now, directing your mind to where life unfolds, the present moment, often undervalued. Stoic philosophy maintains that living in the present helps us steer clear of worrying about the future or regretting the past, making our lives more fulfilling and our thinking more profound. Imagine being a nature enthusiast who often strolls in the nearby park. One beautiful day, you decide to spend the morning walking and relishing moments with nature. During that walk, you feel the cool breeze, hear the bird song, and witness the freshness of the trees. You're not bogged down by work or life's difficulties. Instead, you genuinely savor each moment this living in the present allows for a stronger connection with nature and the world around you. It helps you discover true love for life and for yourself, while being open to loving and accepting the external world. When immersed in the present, food tastes better, laughter becomes more genuine, and moments become incredibly precious. Life transforms from a series of unnoticed events into an opportunity to appreciate pure and authentic values. Living in the present also enhances our relationships, especially in seeking genuine love. By focusing on today and not letting the past or future dominate our minds, we gain a better understanding of ourselves and the people around us. This creates the potential for a true, deep love, not dependent on the circumstances we're going through. Principle number four, love isn't the cure-all for our problems. Seneca, a renowned philosopher of the Stoic era, provided a different take on love, stating, friendship always benefits, love sometimes injures. This statement reflects the Stoic philosophy's perspective that while love can bring advantages, it also has the potential to cause harm or complications. This viewpoint underscores the stoic principle of approaching emotions, 
including love, with equilibrium and reason. Love can be a significant aspect of life, but it shouldn't become the sole foundation upon which we depend to find happiness and solve all problems. Instead, we should learn to confront challenges independently and foster our personal growth. While we desire love and the feeling of being loved in our lives, we often fall into the illusion that love is a magical remedy for all our issues. We convince ourselves that finding a special person will fill us with joy, free us from anxiety and bring us the peace we yearn for. We believe that love is the enchanting key to unlocking a socially acceptable life. Stoicism encourages us to take charge of our own lives. This entails facing difficult situations even when love is present. We should concentrate on self-development, attain spiritual independence, and find happiness from within. Picture yourself in a troubled relationship. You must confront the harsh reality that love cannot always resolve every issue. You come to realize that independence and personal growth require attention as well. You start focusing on self-improvement, building relationships with friends and family, and seeking happiness from within, rather than relying on love to guarantee your contentment. Acknowledge that life can present challenges and not all problems can be resolved with love. In essence, Stoic philosophy highlights the importance of love in life, but encourages us to maintain independence, self-control, and respect for boundaries in romantic relationships. Love isn't always the panacea for our problems, and achieving balance in life is crucial for genuine happiness and prosperity. Principle number five, self-reflection is crucial for authentic love. As Seneca once stated, if one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favorable. This statement prompts us to recognize that personal development becomes evident when we confront fear, take risks, and choose challenging paths. Through self-improvement, we have the opportunity to overcome fear, embrace imperfection, and establish relationships based on sincerity and effective communication. This allows us to experience true love deeply. Stoic philosophers don't view love as a fleeting emotion or obligation. They seek genuine love, love based on ideals and ethics. True love originates from understanding and accepting the essence of every individual, regardless of temporary conditions or appearances. Let's discuss a powerful tool that can completely transform your approach to seeking love, self-reflection. Self-reflection is a vital tool for a true love foundation. When we understand ourselves and can control our emotions, we can love sincerely and rightly. Through self-reflection, we can eliminate the negative effects of emotions such as jealousy, anger, and dissatisfaction. Instead, we express love through tolerance, understanding, and compassion. We can treat others with patience and empathy, not making judgments based on temporary things like appearance, wealth, or reputation. Rather than evaluating others based on unstable conditions and standards, we can view them from a perspective of inherent human worth. Our actions and words become more crucial than ever in expressing true love. We can show love by caring for, listening to, and supporting others in difficult times. We contribute by treating them with respect and tolerance, not just focusing on their mistakes or shortcomings. We can also express love by sharing our knowledge and experiences, giving them the opportunity to grow and mature. Envision having a friend, Sarah, who is going through financial difficulties after losing her job. Instead of complaining or worrying, Sarah takes the time to reflect on the true value of life and understands herself better. When she meets you, she expresses true love by listening and encouraging, showing tolerance and understanding to everyone. Sarah demonstrates that self-reflection is the foundation for true love, unaffected by temporary difficulties, bringing positive benefits to everyone around her. In Stoic philosophy, 
Self-reflection plays a crucial role in developing true love and building meaningful relationships. By understanding ourselves and controlling our emotions, we can express love in the right and meaningful way in life. Principle number six. Upholding emotional independence is crucial in the pursuit of love. Seneca once remarked, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This statement underscores the value of the present and advises against relying too heavily on the future for happiness. In Stoic philosophy, independence plays a significant role in seeking authentic love. It involves love founded on self-control and a clear understanding of our emotions. Instead of tying our happiness to the future or others, Stoics suggest cherishing and relishing the current moments. As Seneca points out, we must be open to changing our habits if we discover dependency. Independence signifies self-respect and self-acceptance. Picture an inner relationship where your loved one is going through a tough time and often feels emotional pressure. Rather than getting entangled in their emotions, you maintain emotional independence, take care of yourself and continue offering support. This approach enables you to assist them without sacrificing your own happiness, fostering a sustainable relationship grounded in genuine love. With emotional independence, we avoid placing excessive pressure on our partner or ourselves to meet unnecessary expectations. We recognize that happiness isn't entirely beyond our control and isn't solely dependent on others. Genuine love in Stoic philosophy values both your and your partner's independence. It doesn't hinge on control or dependence. Instead, it's built on understanding, respect, and a willingness to appreciate precious moments in the present. This foundation helps cultivate robust and lasting relationships where love and happiness can genuinely flourish. Let me introduce you to two fundamental practices in our love pursuit meditation and mindfulness. Meditation serves as a potent tool for maintaining emotional independence. From a stoic and masculine perspective, meditation helps us find balance amid the storms of a relationship. It trains us to be present in the moment, observe our thoughts and emotions without being carried away by them. In the quest for love, meditation aids in focusing on ourselves, creating a space for self-reflection and contemplating our relationships. Mindfulness is a vital aspect of Stoic philosophy. It involves awakening the mind and keeping it alert. Self-control in love necessitates recognizing and understanding our emotions, and mindfulness facilitates this. When we are mindful, we can discern between natural thoughts and emotions and unnecessary reactions. This empowers us to better understand ourselves and how love impacts us. These practices not only help maintain emotional independence, but also establish a basis for a meaningful relationship. They enable us to stay in control, confront challenges and changes with confidence, and create conditions for genuine and meaningful love. Principle number seven. Authenticity is the cornerstone of meaningful relationships. Epicurus once stated, no man is free who is not master of himself. This statement reminds us that true freedom lies in being true to oneself without fear of judgment. Authenticity frees us from the burden of trying to please others and encourages us to live by our own principles. In a society that often pushes us to seek love through external approval, authenticity becomes the guiding principle. In Stoic philosophy, we learn that authenticity is a fundamental principle for building meaningful and valuable relationships in life. The first crucial step is understanding oneself by comprehending emotions, limitations, and personal values. From there, we can live authentically with ourselves and be sincere with others. Authenticity is not just about self-awareness and self-acceptance, but also involves the ability to share emotions and thoughts sincerely and without restraint. 
instead of wearing a mask in front of others and concealing our true feelings and thoughts, authenticity demands that we courageously confront them. In doing so, we not only demonstrate honesty to ourselves, but also build trust in our relationships with others. Stoic philosophy also underscores respecting and valuing others based on their true qualities rather than relying on societal images or superficial characteristics. We should delve deeper into understanding them and respect them for their unique values and qualities. Being authentic in our assessment and respect of others helps us build stronger relationships based on genuine understanding and respect. To further understand this, consider the story of Mary and Tom. Mary and Tom have been married since their university days and have always displayed authenticity in their relationship. Whenever they face difficulties or disagreements, they don't hide their emotions. Instead of avoiding issues, they take the time to talk and resolve them. One evening, Mary confided in Tom that she felt pressure from work and family life. Tom listened sincerely, and together they worked on improving the situation. Thanks to their authenticity and mutual respect, they built a strong and understanding relationship. In summary, applying authenticity and respect to our lives and relationships not only helps us create valuable relationships, but also brings satisfaction and understanding to the world around us. These are fundamental principles in Stoic philosophy for building a meaningful life and meaningful relationships. Ultimately, to create meaningful relationships, we need to eliminate unnecessary factors like jealousy or boundless ambition. Instead, focus on sharing genuine interaction and building relationships based on ethics. Only when we live and interact with authenticity can we create meaningful and cherished relationships in life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and leave your thoughts in the comments. Your support means a lot.